everybody. Happy Tuesday. It is Trucking Tuesday. And yes, we are already underneath the load. Uh, get up here, get checked out at the gate, and then we'll do the manifest. Already done the pre trip on the truck and on the trailer. And as you can see, we are carrying two pods. All right, so we got pods, 18,627 pounds. We're going to Dallas, uh, to the Dales, Oregon. Expected time is Monday, 1611, but, and Monday, 2251. Job income, because of the mod that is in, is $112,472. We have nine hours and 34 minutes. And we got six hours till our next rest stop. So, let's get on the road. Yes, this is uh, Bart Modding's uh, step deck. And this is the K100, uh, Kenworth K100E. Uh, the Overholster released, redid and released, or made available, I should say. And we have our paint scheme on it. I actually have several, or I have three paint schemes for this truck now. Uh, thanks to Dark Wolf and his help, I was able to get this all set up. stay right here in this lane. Get up here and get on the interstate. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but uh, my kittens are playing around right behind me. So, I want to apologize. I know it's been a couple weeks since the last Truck and Tuesday video, but, uh, last weekend and the weekend prior spent more time with my family than uh, worrying about YouTube like I said in uh, a couple of channel updates I always take time for my family over creating content oh come on Texaco missing. No, it's all there. Never mind. So it's kind of a basic interior on this truck, but I like it. Brings back that old school feel. We'll get over here. It's a little short run. And as soon as we're done with this, I'll show you a couple of the other truck, uh, other paint schemes that I got done. And I do have the Kenworth Long back in game. And I have created a paint job for it already. It is part of the flatbed division, which is what this paint scheme is, is flatbeds, as you can tell by the matching paint scheme to the trailer.
and a gentleman that is on one of the Facebook pages that I uh, am a member of took and created a mod for the lighting concept for the trailer so we have some more lighting options um, we can also run uh, beacons on this trailer Crap. need that lane that far right lane Just throwing you all over the place. Still not driving with the steering wheel, still driving with the controller. Uh, one of these days, uh, I'll borrow Big D Gaming's Xbox steering wheel. That way it makes the steering a lot more smoother. out at about 70 mile an hour. We're doing a little bit of speeding. Uh, I guess the bus doesn't want to exit here. Seattle and Salem. A lot of new updates to the game. Uh, they're starting to get a lot more of the bug fixes for DX11 picks, so I'm happy about that. I did get the uh, Custom 53 trailer uh, back in game. Uh, they got an update out for it, and I was able to get it back in the game. <coughs> so, pretty happy about that. I was there for a while. I wasn't able to use it because it wasn't set up for the 135 DX11 update. So now you can use it on DX11 and DX9. Um, I hope everybody's week is going to go is going good so far. Uh, as everybody knows, I record these when I'm at home. Uh, I usually try to record these on Sunday. So. I am probably, when this is posted, I'm probably between Dallas and San Antonio uh, on the road. Uh, there will be some truck vlogs coming out uh, on Wednesday, tomorrow, if you're watching this on Tuesday. Uh, there will be couple of updates coming up for uh, a game that I have found uh, as soon as I get the information I will bring that along it'll probably be from the truck because usually the uh, game release notes come out on Wednesday for the game that I am currently following and I will be getting this game. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be one of the beta testers, but uh, looks like a very interesting game. Um, it's a MMA style game, uh, not mixed martial arts, but uh, uh, multiplayer platform RP game. does 
if I do get the game, uh, one of uh, my friends, a really close friend, he's also one of my he's also one of my admins, not only on my Discords, but he's also an, an admin on my Facebook page and on my YouTube. So soon as I know more, then I can get into the game, do a little gameplay in it, uh, hopefully get some multiplayer game uh, video in from game. Uh, right now I can't, uh, I can't change lanes, stupid waste, oh, yes, I can bypass the waste station, I can get left lane to get around these idiots. Uh, But it's an, it's an up and coming game. Um, it is in very slow process. And no, it's not the life game or choice or whatever it's called that just came out on Steam that's in uh, early beta. Um, it is actually going to be another Steam game, I can tell you this. It is going to be another Steam game that uses what's called sandboxing. That's where you can create uh, your own map, basically, and there's supposed to be map editing, uh, you can work with the Lua on the game, and create your own gameplay, uh, on a multiplayer platform. Uh, it's supposed to be able to have up to 325 players on a server at a time. I don't have to have the server downloaded to my computer because it is ran from California. Uh, that is the stateside server. And this is early information that I have been given about the game. Don't need the Jake break on. So, once I get more information, I'll pass it along to y'all. And hopefully get some uh, solo play, some multiplayer. And learn more about this game. Oh, I've been here. Been through here. That is such a pain in the butt to turn around in this little rest area right there. See how far we've got left to go on this load. 27 miles. Uh, I have not read up on Utah on release time. I do know it is still in the works for release this year. Uh, so I haven't really read up on Utah's DLC which I plan on reading up on over the week and I do plan on uh, giving you guys an update on the Utah DLC from my channel uh, I know FTG has covered it and I believe the SCS uh, SCS has streamed some gameplay from it supposed to have some new new stuff to come out with it also and why are we freezing sorry about that freeze and lag wow major lag spikes I dropped down to 5 FPS on that Yes, I didn't show. I don't remember if I showed this when I featured his trailer in the beginning when it first came out. But uh, it does have underglow. So I went with a Cayenne underglow to kind of go with some of the lights that I put on the truck or on the trailer. Um, I'm hoping. Uh, on the next update of the truck 
he adds uh, to where we can put this kind of lighting on that's on the trailer on the truck. She's not liking this hill. Oh, left lane ends. Oh, this looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah, I remember this. I've delivered out here once before. I got myself all screwed up by going in the wrong way. Took a load of cattle out this way. And no, I do not have the sound mod in for this truck because it has, uh, when I had it in, it screwed up my sound mod for the Viper truck. So I took the sound mod for this truck out. And this is the sound mod from SES. Or this is the sounds from SES. Not mod. Ooh, dirt road. dirt paths. Now if I was driving one of those slammed trucks, that would not have any clearance. Wilson cattle trailer. Haven't pulled that yet in a uh, video. Might do that in one of the videos. Another thing I like about this is you see the two spotlights on the side of the truck? They light up. And they are what you use for your backlights when you're backing up. And they are bright at night in game. As you can tell on the pods. Get it in there. We'll get it past that little rusty trailer again. You can ask which. <laughs> Backing like this in real life. I can actually do this in probably one shot. trying to do this in the video game, I just, yeah. I'm 
not my best backing job. Alrighty. Of course, excellent. And let's see if there's a current job. Let's see what they currently have coming out of here. Um, let's see, we have forklifts going to Tucson, Arizona. We have super sandbag going to Oakland, and that is got to be there on time. Winnemucca, Nevada on some blue PPC pipe. Lumber going to Bellingham. And we have Promix going to San Rafael. We have... Sandbags going to FedEx in Colville. Lumber to Bend. <coughs> Forklifts going to Longview, Washington. Or lumber going from here to the uh, Home Depot. So, eh, we'll skip the load. Do this real quick. Um, do, 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 do. Run back to Seattle real quick. Yeah, it's just me and one other driver in, in here. <coughs> Sorry about that. So we'll do a quick travel. Get there at 4:26 a.m. Yay! Then I'll switch out trucks. Show you the Kenworth Long, and both the cab over and the Kenworth Long that I'm going to show you, they are both on Steam. Uh, this one here can be found on Steam. Salem. Do 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 do. Come on. There's the other two cab overs. Sorry if you heard that. Um, maybe they're already here in Seattle. Or maybe it's already here in Seattle. I don't know. Yes, there it is. Okay. Wow. As I make which crack up in the background. There's not a lot of options that's on this truck, uh, but the gentleman that is, took over this project has actually came a long way, a lot farther than the original uh, creator did. Um, Big Bob is still out there, the Big Bob Kenworth like this is still out there, it is still being updated. It is updated 135 uh, via other people. On private edits okay so this is the long as my dude starts to yawn and I took the message that's on the American flag back here and I put it on the side of the trailer or side of the truck also um, but yeah it actually turned he he's doing really good um, there is some issues that I've noticed uh, if you see right there at the step the left headlight the uh, refraction from the light is right there and then the headache rack I don't like the headache racks that came with it 
So. Put a set of beacons on here. And the horns are mounted up underneath. <sighs> Alright, dude. This is my biggest truck in my fleet. And this is what the revamp looks like on the interior. Uh, the girders are in the ceiling. I painted them blue. I still have not painted the the uh, support beams yet. Um, I added the POW MIA poster, a Texas A&M, and then the official fan club logo. I got a couple of peats in here. Cool. All of them pulling flatbeds. Uh, a short flatbed, a 48 foot flatbed, and looks like a low boy. I am going to make a uh, heavy haul version of this. got a lot of the reflection fixed. He still has to work on the GPS. And he added in the refrigerator to it. And I believe he redid the microwave. It's a different microwave. There was something else he said he did on the interior. Uh, I cannot remember what it was. <laughs> APU controls there. I can't remember what else he said. Oh, uh, the TV. Uh, he took the TV out for now until he can get it to where it quits going through the wall. And then the sunroof he took, or the, the sun visors he took off. So. <sighs> Let's go in here. Trailer manager. Um, this one, or this one, that one's being pulled by him, that's the huge one, those are being pulled, so it'd be that triaxle. So, <clears throat> and that's Pinga's low boy. But I think this would actually look pretty good with, uh, paint scheme to match the low boys for the heavy haul and then if I remember right uh, let's go here Salem where are you at Salem there Salem Salem's my open I don't have any drivers in it yet 
So don't mind the paint scheme that's on there. It's got a heavy haul. Mid lift. But it's got a triaxle that you can use. Now with that, go with those. So he's he's come a long way. That's the only thing I don't like. So we'll get the quarter fenders. Notice that there was an accessory slot. Yay. But it just kind of hangs there, so. Won't worry about that. So we'll set this one up for the heavy haul. Go with this one. <clears throat> that one actually looks pretty decent. And those are the three custom skins that he has in there. Lapis blue. But we'll go with mine. Remove the sun blazer. those change those to that actually I need to make a match need to make a match I don't like unmatching lights because I can't put these lights up top I've already tried
several times. There was other ones. Turbo wing, mini cooler. Keep changing the lights. We'll go with that one. Did he not come in there with you? this one in and then I'll hook it up to Bart's tanker real quick so I can show you the lights on, ta on the tanker There's no tomorrow. And this is Bart's tanker. Again, same setup as the other one. I got to set up as a spread axle. That actually looks redder than it should. That's okay. Again, has underglow, and then I added two of the strobes on the back of this trailer. <sighs> he did an awesome job on his trailers, Tiago did, or Bart did, sorry. Pull 
this into the garage here. I want to welcome all new subscribers. Um, if you come across this and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give us a like. And as always, thanks for watching. We will catch you on the flip.